Welcome back to Let's Play Full Throttle. We are at the Corley Motor Factory and we just jumped the gorge. Now, we're gonna, we got a lot to explore out here, but uh, let's take it one at a time. Let's play Full Throttle. That's one big door. I'm here for the shareholders' meeting. Mr. Ripperger has postponed the meeting until Mr. Corley's murderers are apprehended. All the shareholders were notified. Yeah. Well, I haven't checked my voicemail lately, Mac. Hey, open up. Let me in. Beat it. Jerk. Alright, well that didn't work. Corley Motors. I've been meaning to come here for years. This is really a religious pilgrimage for me. A religious pilgrimage with a lot of butt kicking. <laughs> I love Ben. Uh, can't remember. All right, so that's a dead end. Never easy to get through the front door. Uh, what do we got here? Stadium. Looks like something big's going on in there. Souvenirs here! Oh my god, I, this is like... I love this. Ah. Wait, alright. Let's see the cash, amigo. I'll owe ya. No bucks, no yucks, compadre. Again. We got your penance. Chorus. <clears throat> what can I get you? Why are all the lights down here? We got a demolition derby tonight. First prize is a vintage curly hardtail, completely restored by the old man himself. Yep. What's this big arena doing way out here? Corley built the Smashatorium so his employees could have some wholesome entertainment nearby. He sure took care of his employees. I got no idea what's gonna happen to us now that he's gone. The Smashatorium. I'm looking for a good souvenir. Well, good souvenirs is all I got. What can I fix you up with? Something small, furry, and yellow. Sorry, this is the only set of teeth I got. <laughs> Dang, there goes another one. How about that little car there? It's small, but it's not cheap, my friend. You better just take it for a test drive to make sure. Bunnies. And plenty of them. You want bunnies? I got your bunnies. How much you got on you? Uh, can I just take them out for a test drive? I think you may not be ready for the kind of commitment that comes with a Corley Bunny value pack. Sorry, son. Those uh, shirts come in extra, extra large? Eh. Eh, no. But they're pre shrunk. No, thanks. Pre shrunk. What do those pennants say on him? Can't beat a Corley, they say. Kind of ironic, actually, considering how he died. Oh, my God. Still, look great on your bedroom wall. No walls. My bike is my home. We could set you up with a little pole so you could uh, make a flag, you know, for your back seat. I'll, uh, think about it. Do you actually have any money? As much as I need. Seen any vultures around here? Nah, we don't have much of a vulture problem here, even though their hideout is right up the road. They stay pretty much locked up in there. Not very social. Mm, okay. What's in the hat? I don't know. Came filled with it. Probably some sort of packing material. That's a punch, I'll tell you that much. <coughs> Looky here. Nothing personal. But why don't you mosey along and stop scaring away all the other customers, all right? Just clearing my throat. We got it all right here. <coughs> Excuse me, but are those shirts, uh... Are they all cotton? Well, uh, let's just see here. One hundred percent cotton. Oh, um, that's too bad. I'm allergic to cotton. I love how this game, that's just... Official Corley Motors merchandise. That's what it is. All right, let me see here. 
Drive your own derp. It's a joystick. Probably for that little car. Our bunnies come with battle. Kinda cute. For a car, that is. Sure, sure. Take it for a spin. Just don't go out of range. Lovable, lovable little bunnies. The officially licensed bunny of the Corley Motor Smashatorium. We got your t-shirts here. All sizes and colors. Looks like it's getting weak. Oh, great. You killed the batteries. Damn. Those weapons were out of weight. Oh, God. He's just... You'll be keeping cold and looking bold. Uh, you, big fella. Come give our derby car a spin. Souvenirs to remind you of your special Smashatorium adventure. Buy your kids a bunny so they'll shut up on the long drive home. <laughs> Can I use it again? It's out of juice. Don't be a cheap jerk. Buy something. Uck, uck. A bunny won't do much there. If we don't got it, then it stinks. <laughs> Alright. That's kind of a dead end right now, too. We got one more spot over here. Dead end. Dead end for now. There's a lot of things to still click over there, but let's go over here first. Uh, uh, the vulture hideout. I don't walk. I don't walk. For God's sakes. Take the bike. Find Mo and she is. There's the vultures' hideout on the other side of this field. I've heard a lot about the vultures. And I guess it's all true. Hmm. I don't want to set off any of these boys. I remember that from that's like my most vivid memory from uh from this game so I remember how to do it but I forgot it dropped a battery. Yoink. And now I think I just figured out what to do. Car ran out of batteries. Got batteries now, boys. Pat the bunny. You know you want to. That should put some life into it. You just can't get this stuff anywhere else, folks. Need some more bunnies. Sure, sure. Take it for a spin. Just don't go out of range. And it's cheap too. Okay, that's far enough, bud. Let's bring her back now. Oh, here we go. Hey, don't go in there. Now look what you did. The entrance is all the way through the factory. Hang on, little buddy. Daddy's coming. <laughs> now it's just me and the bunnies. Yoink. Bunny box. I don't walk. Oh, for God's sakes, I keep forgetting. I'm so excited for this part. I love this part. This is like one of the only parts of the game that I really, really vividly remember. The 
mine field's been replanted. Tidy little vultures. Hmm. you back. <laughs> the bunnies. Just another value pack. Like, this is a big problem he has with people stealing the bunnies. I know I need exactly that many bunnies. So, we have to get more bunnies. I think he should have more. Yes. Yoink. Bunnies. Let's go. More bunnies. Get on the bike this time. Oh man, he is running this time. Jeez. Good old Ben. All right. Now, now it's time. Gotta get out the, the vultures. Look how these rocks stick out like that. Sweet. All right. Now, grab bunny. Grab bunny. Grab bunny. All right, now I definitely have enough. I have enough of these furry monsters. I have enough of these furry monsters. Yeah, yeah, that's enough. Let's see how far they get. I wonder if he thought of this part. Whoever thought of this part of the game is just a genius. That's the guy I was telling you about, Susie. You sure? Yeah. That's the guy who killed my father. All right, vultures, rack him up! God. Let's rip them quick. Listen, Mo. You're making a big mistake. Oh, well, you're right. We shouldn't do this quickly. We should draw this out, don't you think, Susie? Hey, I got all night. You heard her, kids. Let's draw this out. <clears throat> Your father. Don't you dare talk about my father, you heartless bastard. Corley and I. I said shut up about my dad. Oh. Uh, that's not working. I'm losing my temper, Marine. Hey, you're about to lose much more. Okay, that's enough. Mm, not quite. <laughs> oh, God. Let me go, or else. Or else what? I'll sick the polecats on you. The polecats are in jail, Ben. You put them there. Oh, no. Let me go, or else. Right. Or else. Getting closer. What? Uh. I'll call you names. 
Like what? Ah! Diaper Dynamo. How did you hear that name? Your father. He told me just before he died. You bludgeoned my father and then talked about old times? I didn't kill him. Ripburger did. A photographer took pictures, but her camera was stolen by the same thug that came after you. I... I still have that role. Well, develop it, would you? While I still fit in my clothes? Okay, you stay here. Hey. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, well, don't sweat it. I'm gonna get Rip Burger even if I die trying. No, we have to expose Rip Burger at the shareholders' meeting. That way, we take him down, we save my gang, and your father gets his dying wish. You take over Corley Motors. Rip Burger canceled the shareholders' meeting. He made a statement to the press that there'd be no meeting until the murderers were brought to justice. So. No shareholders meeting until we're both dead? Hmm. That could be arranged. Okay, so here we go. Faking Ben and Maureen's death. <laughs> Act one, scene one. Adrian Ripburger, in a desperate attempt to lure our Maureen out of hiding, has developed the following lame-ass scheme. First prize at tonight's smash-up derby is a vintage hardtail that Mo restored with her dad. Rip hopes Mo will try to nab said bike on account of her sentimental attachment to it. So Ben and Mo play along, put on disguises, and enter the demolition derby, which ends tragically when their cars explode and both are presumed dead. Uh, question. Please save your questions until the end. <laughs> now, the explosives in Mo's car can only be triggered by a head-on collision with Ben's car. This ejector seat projects Mo clear of the explosion, and she parachutes to safety. Don't you think someone will notice her rejecting out of her car? No, they'll all be watching you running around on fire. Yeah, that's another question I have. <laughs> when your car explodes, you climb from it in flames and run around the stadium distracting the audience. In your cute little asbestos suit, of course. <laughs> that's some plan. All right, then. Let's go blow your little darlings up. All right, folks. Hang on to your chili dogs, because it's time to start. The Corley Motors Smashatorium Amateur Driver Ultimate Destruction Maximum Carnage Marathon. Let's meet our crash cage gladiators. That mysterious looking hooded figure wouldn't give us his real name. He prefers to be known as the Unknown Avenger. And just fine with us, isn't it, folks? <laughs> Now I'm just embarrassed for them. Who do they think they're fooling with those ludicrous disguises? And next to him is another mass newcomer. Please give a big smashatorium salute to the princess of pile-up, Doreen Schmorley. <laughs> Come on. 